So let's have our uh, folktale people come on up on the stage, and I will move over a little okay. bit so you guys and uh, if you guys remember how to plug in, and uh, if um, we'll go ahead and let's see, Will, off. I think yours is still up there. So come on up. So we have uh, we have a narrator, we have a chipmunk, and we have a bear because those are the those are the um, the characters in the folk tale, animal folk tales. Now chipmunks are sometimes confused with ground squirrels, but they're a separate species. Now, one marking on chipmunks is the white stripe they have on their sides. Long before TV and social media, people pass down information by telling stories. Some of these stories are called folk tales. Folk tales explain about life and answer questions. And the question that's answered in the following folk tales is, how did chipmunk get its stripes? So here to answer this question are Will, and Will, welcome back, as I said, to uh, ramping up your English. And Will's friends are here. And Will, I'll leave it to you to introduce your friends. Um, uh, this is Jimpa, and this is Tenzin over here. OK, so welcome to all of you. I think I can get a level camera shot more if I have a seat. And then we can get all three of you guys in the shot. There we go. OK, so Will, I'm just going to turn it over to you, and I'll let you start, uh, start with the folk tale with your narrator. OK. Um, have to get a little time to open the book, yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> These guys have been practicing. I'm, I'm eager to, to, to hear and see what they say. One autumn day long ago, Bear was out walking. As he walked, he began to brag. I am Bear. I'm the biggest of all animals. Yes, I am. I am Bear. I'm the strongest of all animals. Yes, I am. I am Bear. I am the loudest of all animals. Yes, I am. I am Bear. I am Bear. I can do anything. As soon as Bear said those words, a little voice spoke up from the ground. Can you really do anything? Bear looked down. He saw a little brown squirrel standing on his hind legs. Can you really do anything? Brown squirrel asked again. Bear stood up very tall. I am Bear. I can do anything. Yes, I can. Can you tell the sun not to rise tomorrow morning? Brown squirrel asked. I have never tried that before, but I'm Bear. I can do anything. Yes, I can. Bear turned west to face the sun. It was the time when the sun always goes down. Bear stood up, up to his full height and spoke in a loud voice. Sun, do not come up tomorrow. At his words, the sun began to disappear behind the hills. You see, Bear said, sun is afraid of me. He is running away. But will the sun come up tomorrow? Brown Squirrel asked. No, Bear answered. The sun will not come up. The bear turned to face the east, the direction where the sun always used to come up. He sat down. The old brown squirrel sat down beside him. All that night, they did not sleep. All that night, bear kept saying these words. The sun will not come up. Hmm. The sun will not come up. Hmm. But as the night went on, Low Brown Squirrel began to say, some, say something, too. He said these words. The sun is going to rise. Ooh. The sun is going to rise. Ooh. All through the night, they sat there. One by one, other animals gathered around them. Fox and wolf, deer and moose, rabbit and porcupine, hawk and owl, otter and beaver, frog and turtle. And even the little mice came. They wanted to see who would be right, bear or brown squirrel. This is what the other animals heard. The sun will not come up. Hump. The sun is going to rise. Ooh. The sun will not come up. Hump. The sun is going to rise. Ooh. Finally, it was just before dawn, the time when the sun always used to come up. Look, said Turtle. A little bit of red is starting to show. Yes, said Owl. I believe the sun will rise today. Bear only chanted louder. The sun will not come up. Hmm. But right next to him, a little brown squirrel piped up. The sun, the sun is going to rise. Mm. And the sun came up. The birds sang their welcoming songs. The bright light of the new day spread over the land. Everyone was happy except for one animal. That animal was Bear. 
sat there with his head down and a grumpy look on his face. The happiest animal of all was Little Brown Squirrel. The sun came up, he, he chirped. The sun came up. The sun came up. The sun came up. Brown Squirrel was so happy he forgot what his wise old grandmother had told him when he was very young. Brown Squirrel, his grandmother had said, it is good to be right about something, but when someone else is wrong, it is not a good idea to tease them. Now Little Brown Squirrel <laughs> began to tease Bear. Bear is foolish, the sun came up. Bear is silly, the sun came up. Bear is stupid, the sun came Womp! <laughs> Bear's big claw came down on Little Brown Squirrel, pinning, pinning him to the ground. Bear leaned over and opened his huge mouth. Yes, Bear growled. The sun did come up. Yes, I look foolish, but you will not live to see another sunrise. You will not ever tease anyone else again, because I am Bear, and I am going to eat you. Brown Squirrel thought fast. You're right to eat me. He said, I was wrong to tease you. I would like to say I am sorry before you eat me, but before you eat me, but you are pressing down on me so hard that I cannot say anything. I, can't, I cannot say anything at all. I cannot even breathe. If you would lift up your paw just a little bit, then I could take a deep breath and apologize before you eat me. That, that, that's a good idea, Bear said. Oh, I would like to hear you apologize before I eat you. So Bear lifted up his paw, but instead of apologizing, Brown Squirrel ran. He ran as fast as he could toward the pile of stones where he had his home. He had a tunnel under the stones and a nice warm burrow deep underground. Hurry, Brown Squirrel! Little Brown Squirrel's grandmother stood on the door waiting for him. Hurry, Brown Squirrel! Little Brown Squirrel dove for the door to his home, but Bear was faster than he looked. He grabbed the Little Brown Squirrel with his big paw. Bear's long, sharp claws scratched Brown Squirrel's back from the top of his head to the tip of his tail. But Brown Squirrel got away. Deep down in his burrow where Bear couldn't get him, Brown Squirrel curled up next to his grandmother and slept all winter with those scratches on his back. When spring came, Little Brown Squirrel came out of his hole and looked at himself. There was, there were long pale stripes all the way down his back where Bear had scratched him. He was Brown Squirrel no longer. He was now Chipmunk, the striped one. That is how Chipmunk got his stripes. Ever since then, Chipmunk has been the first animal to get up every morning as the sun rises. He scoots to the <coughs> top of the tallest tree to sing his song. The sun came up, the sun came up, the sun came up, the sun came up. And ever since then, Bear has been the last animal to get up. He doesn't like to hear Chipmunk's song. It reminds him, as it reminds us all, that no one, not even Bear, can do everything. Let's hear some applause. All right. So you know what, uh, in these kind of folk tales, this is what people used to sit around the campfire, and people would tell these kind of tales. Mm -hmm. So way before, you know, most of the time when, when people had been on Earth, uh, there wasn't TV and there wasn't all the little, you know, social media and stuff. So that's how knowledge got passed down and <coughs> someone might very well ask, well, this animal has a white stripe. How did it get it? And so you guys did a wonderful job with the folk tale. So um, we're going to have a, a little bit of something... Uh, else to to fill the time meanwhile if you guys want to go and uh, and have a seat on the rug we have something else to show you in just a few minutes mm -hmm. so why don't you guys go ahead and have a seat on the rug um actually if the control room would take the microphones down for our storytellers we will unplug them and uh, give you guys a little bit of room to uh to move so they've been, they're, they're good. They're able to unplug their microphones and still, uh, still be in the studio with us.